you've met a guy. He seems like quite a catch, but is he right for you? Instead of wasting time finding out, Wendy Walsh suggests you take her boyfriend test. That's the title of her new book. All right, let's go through some of the, 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 the right. tips yeah. in the book that you say women should think about when they're choosing a boyfriend. The first you say is, does he allow you to pick up or split the check. This is on the first date test. There's five parts to the test. And I also should say, this is to keep you from falling in love with the guy's potential and look at his reality. And on the first date, believe me, if he's allowing you to even pay the valet parker or the subway token or what any little bit. Yeah, I, I uh -uh. agree with that. What is his re relationship track record? That's number two. That is so important. You know, once you get a few dates down the road, you want to find out exactly if his relationship track record is strewn with the bodies of disappointed women. You want to know if he's been practicing t way too much serial monogamy. So how do you know? Um, how do you find you ask him clearly. You do some girlfriend to girlfriend guerrilla research. Number three, what is his relationship with his mother? You know, now we get into some deeper psychological issues, but ultimately we tend to pattern our love relationships on the relationship we had with our opposite gender parent. Right. Hear right. that, women? That also happens with our, us and our daddies. A good, healthy relationship means not a lot of residual anger because that he'll eventually be mad at you um, and you're also looking for a guy who's not too close to mom because that means all you'll ever be is the mistress he's got a wife in his head sure sign he's not the one if he gets into those commitment phobic games which means he plays telephone tag he hides behind his answering machine when you know he's there um, <laughs> you eventually start sleeping with him and then he doesn't call you for a week uh, but there are women who, who actually write email me at theboyfriendtest.com and they say but, but I you know it was everything's been going so great and he hasn't called for two weeks should I call him and I'm like no two if, if half a moon has gone by and he hasn't called that says something okay now let's say if a woman wants to end a relationship okay, okay then what are the steps that she should take the most important thing is women have to be clear with themselves that they really Really want to separate that they're not playing a game so that inside they have to figure it out that they want to break up with a guy and separate and they're ready to do it what okay. are the three most important tips for a woman to remember be honest with yourself and your man be honest when you're breaking up understand also even when you're the dumper that you will have feelings of loss sometimes losing a relationship is like losing a leg but remember that leg might have had gangrene okay <laughs> you still you still lose Leg, yeah. and you feel well, then, then what are some of the common mistakes women make after they've been dumped then? Okay, they're three big three. Okay, number one is they feel angry. They feel angry at the man. Right. Then they turn that anger on the entire male species. Yes. You know that one. Please <laughs> don't bring that luggage. All men are not the same. <laughs> And Come then in the now. future, you become a little emotionally avoidant. You vow to not get close to anybody again. And then you're less attractive because of that. So don't do that. Don't medicate yourself with a rebound man. Yeah, well, they all no. do. And the third one is, I think women become very busy Barbies when they're hurt. And we get obsessed with beauty and health and prosperity. And we work like crazy. And we go to the spa. And we go to the gym. We get our hair done. and uh, Or we eat or we don't eat. We do something. And we get to be very busy Barbies. And that's not staying in your feelings. You really want to stay in your feelings when so you So then what are the healthiest ways, then, to deal with the The breakup? healthiest ways are to surround Surround yourself by surrogate relationships that you trust. Who will, those relationships will remind you how lovable you are. You want to be able to determine if a guy has some good daddy skills. It's a job description that's going to last for 18 years. Let's do this daddy Let's test. Do the daddy how does it test. work? Okay, I've got five quick questions for you. Okay. Let's see how you do. First question is, how does your boyfriend react when you're being like a baby? When you have PMS? Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Is he? Does he get avoidant? Does he get angry? Does he have no patience for you? Because I promise, babies are all that and more, completely amplified, crying, whining. And if he's got no patience for you, and you've got the goods he really wants, then uh, uh -huh. he's not going to have patience for a baby. Yeah. Does he make negative comments about men who wear babies in slings? Okay, I've never seen a guy, I don't think, in slings. They have those... Oh, yeah. I call them PDFs, public displays of fatherhood. If a guy okay. has a problem with public displays of fatherhood, yeah. then he doesn't see that as a role model or an identity. And right now, everybody's wearing their babies. Yeah. Is his career settled enough for the financial hit? He's going to take. Babies cost money. This is a good one. Okay. What's his response to the sight of bodily fluids? <laughs> oh, man. This is really important, okay? If he's one of those guys that makes you close the bathroom door when you pee, how is he going to change a diaper? Okay? Oh, no, 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 but it's different. <laughs> you say dating sex is different. Dating the, sex is different. Right. Mm -hmm. You say uh, dating sex, expect him to get the warm towel to clean up, <laughs> cuddle you for as long as you need, and sleep on the wet spot. But, um... No, he doesn't. She does not say that. I'm I reading do, it does. right here in the I book. Do. Dating do sex. It yes. doesn't happen once you've, you know, been monogamous for a long period of time, but this is a guy, you know, as a peacock showing his feathers, trying to impress you with how See, great he is that. If this hoping idea to be that we're always auditioning for you. Uh -huh. Why did you, know you audition yeah. for us? No, you know oh, what? I, yeah. Yeah. You know what? 
for way too many years. Year. We have been sitting around waiting for the damn phone to ring, and you guys haven't called us back. So well, it's time that we're in the driver's seat taking applications and doing the interviewing. Because you know why. You know what? We are auditioning you, and you don't have a big enough part. <laughs>